welcome to another episode of Meet the Wolf Pack. I'm Miranda Pham, and joined with me today is Joshua Mullaney. Welcome, Josh. Thanks. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good, thanks. Good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so last year we had the pleasure of getting together doing this interview. Yeah. And uh, your hair was a little bit longer back then. <laughs> yeah. And I remember that you were going to cut it off for cancer research. Uh, yeah, I donated it. So awesome. 10 so inches. 10 inches? Yeah. Oh my word. Yeah. So how was that? Like explain that whole process and the feeling of losing your locks. Traumatic. Really? It was like just getting <laughs> like way too long for everything that I did. So yeah. at one point I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to do it. <laughs> so went in, got them to cut off like 10 inches all around and then threw it in a bag, nailed it off. That's crazy. Yeah. And what was that moment like of literally putting your hair in an envelope and then putting a stamp on it? Like, did you write a note or did you have to write a letter or no, something? No, you just like write down, oh, uh, there's like, there's a website for like luscious locks or whatever. No, no way. it's not actually called luscious locks, <laughs> but it's for like cancer patients. Okay. And so just sent it off there. Sweet. Yeah. And did you hear back from them? Did they email you or no, anything? No, not yet. It was pretty, like, I sent it off recently. Okay. I had the, just a bag of hair in my room for a while, and then I was like, this is terrifying. I need to get rid of this. <laughs> just months, like all yeah, summer, just, just sitting there? Bad. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, good for you. Hey, no, congratulations. You. That's a huge deal. That's, yeah. um, I mean, I haven't done that yet, so it's pretty, <laughs> it's, it's admirable. It's a huge thing to do, and yeah. that's, that's really cool. Um, so, also, volleyball mm -hmm. season. How's yeah. it been going? What's the, what's the best part of volleyball so far this year? Um, I don't know, just like hanging around the guys again. Yeah. It's really fun. It's like, I like live with a few of the guys, so it's yeah. really fun just like to talk about volleyball all the time with them and just like yeah. being around them a lot. It's really cool. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. Where yeah. do you guys live this year? Uh, Macbeth. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Big house full and it's... Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> just, a lot of fun. Gets a little bit messy sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Are you the messiest one? No. no, no. Are you lying to me? I swear. <laughs> I swear I do a lot of dishes. All right. Okay. Well, we'll be the judge of that, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. That's good. Yeah. All right. And what's the biggest challenge volleyball-wise? Um, I don't know. Just like kind of staying like mentally in it all the time. Yeah. It's kind of like. It's like a very mentally taxing sport. Like it's not a very like physical based sport, like hockey or anything, where you can just be like, let's go and just like get after it. But you have to be like very like mentally stable throughout an entire match. So yep. that's a little bit tricky, but I'm getting there. Good. Yeah. Good. And you've got two more years of school? Uh, three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And what are you studying again? Psychology. And how's it going? It's pretty fun. I don't know. I like it a lot. Good. It's like it's fun. Is yeah. it hard to balance like going away for the weekends with volleyball and then coming back and doing your homework or is it okay? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Like student athletes just like kinda rough. Yeah. Like I don't know. I I know what I'd do with the time if I like weren't a student athlete though. Okay. That's just so much time. Yeah. I for sure would have terrible sleep schedule, I'd nap <laughs> all the time. That'd be amazing. How do you guys coordinate practices during the day? Like, do you practice twice a day or once a day? Or? Um, at the beginning of the week, we have to do an individual, and then for the rest of the week, we just have like set practices, like 2.30, 4.30, that kind of stuff. Okay. So, it's not bad. Okay. Yeah. And this past summer, I hear that you went to Florida. Tell yeah, us about that. What um, would you even do? What's it called? Like, it's called like Pursued Volleys. It's kind of a team I like, my like buddy is kind of creating this whole thing that's like really, really cool. But me, Charlie and Bird all went down okay. and it was just really fun. We got to play a bunch of like, a, like NCAA guys who were like just absolutely bonkers. <laughs> like they were so good. It was like a really, really cool experience. Like probably best volleyball experience I've had so far. Really? Yeah. And why is that? Just because, like, are they huge? Like, are they super tall? Or what's the difference? Just like the, like the volleyball level in the states is just like pretty bonkers. Yeah. Like they're like serving and passing is just like so much better than it is up here. So like that was really fun to play against. Um, like the team I played on was just like so cool. Like everyone just like loved each other a lot. <laughs> like in a non corny way, we were just like all very like these are my boys and like just like clicked really really well. The coach was like best coach I've ever had so yeah it was really fun cool. yeah do you think you'll do it again next year is that possible? absolutely yeah cool. how do you even hear about that um well like it was like last year probably around like 
It was like in the summer, the guy was kind of like, oh, like, that'd be fun to like just take a team down. Yeah. And he like kind of joked about it and then it like slowly started to pick up steam and after a while it became very legit. So we were all like, put the team together. Like we had no idea how it turned out. We only practiced for like two days. Wow. And then when we went down, it was just like really good team chemistry and everything. Like nothing really went wrong. Yeah. It was just like really unreal. Do you still talk with some of the guys on the yeah. team? Yeah, they're like, I like constantly like text a lot of them. Really? Like still like, like best group of guys. Really? Yeah, like That's best so friends weird. with a lot of them. And is there an age difference? Were they a little bit older or were you guys all in the same age? Um, there are a few guys that are like, I don't know, Shane must be like 30 or something. Okay. No, he's like, I think he's like 21 or 22. No way. <laughs> That's a big jump. <laughs> um, he's, he's at McEwen right now. I think he's in his fourth year, but I think that was one of the older guys. Yeah. So, and then like there was like me, Charlie, Bird, yeah. uh, Max Freen, who played on the uh, McEwen. He was on the all rookie team, made the national team this summer. Wow. So it was like just a lot of fun. Like, I don't know. Like, Sweet. really, really cool. Okay. And did you have some time off together? Did you go to Disney World? Uh, we went to Universal, actually, Ooh, which better. was unreal. Yeah? It was sweet. Harry Potter World was awesome. <laughs> did yeah. you drink the beer? I didn't actually get butterbeer. Okay. It was a little bit disappointing. <laughs> At one point, someone actually thought I was a woman, though. In the what? airport, I was, like, just walking through, and uh, I, like, dropped my passport, and this, like, security guard's like, oh, excuse me, ma'am, because I, like, had my hair down, luscious locks, they're beautiful, whatever. And he's like, but, oh, you drop your passport and like picks it up and like looks up and he's like, oh, what the f And I was like, ah, it's okay, don't worry about it. And he was just like the most uncomfortable I've seen a human being before. It was pretty funny That's though. That's crazy. Yeah. Did anybody witness this happen? Was Charlie behind you in uh, line or something? One of my really good friends, Jacob, was actually. He was just like dying. Like he was just like on the floor in the terminal. They thought he was having a seizure. Uh, it was. It was a whole epidemic. Wow. Yeah, they almost had to quarantine him. It was... <laughs> Did the guy apologize at least? Yeah, he was like, ah, I'm sorry. I was, I was, he just kind of mumbled it off and <laughs> away he went, gone forever. But you laughed? Like you were yeah, too sad yeah. about it? Yeah, yeah. No, like, I, oh. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> happens all the time. It's whatever. Shoot. Yeah. All right. And uh, in Universal Studios, did yeah. you guys go on the roller coasters then? Like, what was the best part about that day? Apart from Harry Potter. I was gonna say Harry Potter again. Jurassic Park was pretty fun. Um, just like kind of just hanging around the guys all the time. Like it was just like the sweetest group of dudes in the world. And it was like, can't even describe how fun it was. It was just like, everyone just clicked really well. There was like no animosity or anything between the guys. So it was just like, could talk to anyone for hours. And like at some points we'd like wait in line for just hours and it would just feel like nothing. Cause we were just like, getting fatuated in just like the deepest conversations. <laughs> it was, like what do you even talk about? Um, Bird, this guy from Queens and I talked about like just crazy like flat earth conspiracy theories. Okay. And like just like theories about the universe. And okay. So it what's was, your opinion? Oh, is it flat or is it round? I think it's round but I think that like at some point, a little something's going on. Someone's pulling the strings a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, you talk about moon conspiracies too? Yeah, yeah. It was just a whole conspiracy <laughs> week. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, it's, it's all very plausible, but <laughs> it's a little bit weird to talk about. Yeah, it's no, it's true. Scary. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like we can make a talk show about your time there. Like, we should. I guess next year we'll have to follow you guys there. Charlie and I were considering making a podcast called JC and the Boys. <laughs> you should. It's that would be year. pretty awesome. Famous. Yeah. yeah. No, Live be next level. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And uh, how are you feeling? You've got a uh, game tomorrow night. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Um, you guys have had a lot of rest so far this week, so I think it'll be a fun game. It'll be fun to watch. Sweet. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you very much. This Thank has you. Been, uh, meet the Wolfpack. I'm Brian Fam, and once again, Mr. Joshua Mulaney. See you next time.